Hi there, and thanks for coming back. Uh, I'm Keith Mason, and I'm working through simple editing functions in Lightroom. This is Lightroom 101. Okay, at the end of the last uh, film we were uh, looking at white balance and we've set the white balance for this image um, and we're going to move on to the tone and presence parts of the basic editing tool. And as you can see, if you remember, we've got the, the histogram here, the first item is the exposure. We can move the exposure to the right and increase the exposure or we can move it to the left and we can decrease the exposure of the image. You can see here now we've got a very dark image and you can see all of the darks in the histogram dominate the histogram. If we move the exposure over to the right you can see that now we have lots of exposure on the right hand side of the histogram and very little uh, in, the, in the darker parts of the picture. To my mind, both of those are not great edits. Uh, but we also have a concern with uh, your exposure that a particular image, when it's printed, if it's um, too underexposed, some of the parts of your uh, image will be just pure black. There'll be no detail in them whatsoever. And if we overexpose parts of our image, they will be written in the final print is just being pure white with no detail and neither of those are particularly great so uh, Lightroom has a couple of warnings uh, which enable you to see whether you've got parts of your image which are entirely black or entirely white and so here if you click these two items the red items show you where you're overexposed and the blue items show you where you're underexposed. Now we've got no uh, underexposed parts here because the image is so far uh, overexposed. So if I bring it back to where we were uh, right at the beginning where there wasn't any uh, editing at all, you can see that down here there is some underexposed parts of the image through the trees and you can see up here in the trees uh, where the sun is coming through there's some overexposed parts of the image and so what we can do is maybe move our exposure up to try and reduce and get rid of the um, overexposed parts underneath the tree. But what we find is that we then uh, increase the overexposed parts over in the uh, sky. So this is where we start looking at the next sets of items. So now we can um, affect individual parts of the histogram uh, and really what I want to do is bring back the exposure to where it was at the beginning because the Im image what I was trying to get was this sort of the dark and dappled part of the wood and where the, the light was just streaming down on this individual tree. So um, now I can increase my shadow slider until I bring in some detail in particularly in this part of the image and work with these two sliders so that I begin to get the feeling that I want with the, the least amount of over or under exposure. I'm going to leave it about there. I know that there's still some small parts of overexposure, uh, underexposure, but I can get that back another way. The next two sliders that work together are the whites and the blacks. The whites increase the white part of the image and the blacks increase the blacks. I don't want that. But what these do is increase the contrast or decrease the contrast in the image. So if I move the whites to the left and the blacks to the whites, you can see that we're taking contrast out of the image. 
so the next two parts of uh, the basic editing tools are the whites and the blacks. If we move the uh, whites to the right, you can see that it increases the um, uh, the bright parts of the um, image. If we move the blacks to the left, it increases the the darks and the blacks. But both cases, we begin to get a little bit more uh, over or under exposure. The other item that you've got here is the contrast. Uh, if we move to the left, it takes contrast out. It flattens uh, down the uh, the contrast through the image. If we increase to the right, you can see that uh, darks are emphasised and brights are emphasised. And actually, um, we can use those in different ways. And when we go into other images, I can show you how we use those. But essentially, in this case, I think we're rather happy with uh, the general structure. The other part of um, the basic editing tools are um, around presence. So you've got texture. We can increase the texture in the trees. Or we can make the whole image rather softer. And that has a rather nice effect if that's something that you're looking to, to do. Uh, we can add clarity into the Im image, which does a rather similar um, effect, but you can play with those to, to bring out different um, creative um, styles into your image. We have a, a dehaze button, and this isn't going to work um, or be very clear in this image because um, we haven't got a lot of sky, but if we come to um, our image here, and I'm just going to pull back, you can now see that the clouds were rather overexposed. Um, if I increase the dehaze function, you can see that the, the sky and the reflections of the sky become much, uh, has much more detail, become rather uh, greater contrast. So that's a great slider if ever uh, you've taken a picture where the sky is rather drab, um, using the dehaze um, slider can uh, add extra contrast into particularly the sky. And coming back to our base image here, um, you also have the vibrancy and the saturation of the image. Now, I tend to, when I'm editing, add some vibrance into most images. I tend not to use saturation too much in the basic editing uh, and I do um, affect individual colours and affect the saturation and I'm going to deal with that uh, in um, one of the later uh, videos. So that's it. That's the basic edits that you can do in Lightroom and stay with this series of films to see how we can continue to improve uh, these two images uh, and at the same time learn how to improve your own images. Thanks for looking in uh, and I hope to see you another time. If you like the, the series of films and you want to learn more about landscape and travel photography and a whole bunch of other ph um, photography styles which I will be covering in future videos, please consider subscribing. You know what to do down there. Uh, and that will give you a clue as to when my next video comes out. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again.